Hey, good Thursday. It, it is Thursday. That means it's my Friday. So I get tomorrow off. And there's snow coming in tonight too, so probably it's okay. okay. Anyway, our gospel today is from John chapter 5, verses 31 through 47. <coughs> and these these passages from John just kill me because there's so much there, but they're also very deep and very heady, which is ironic because where I'm going to go today, uh, that it becomes kind of difficult to uh, to talk about. But um, here's uh, what I take from this passage as you read it, uh, if you work your way through it. In essence, what Jesus is saying, I think, to these people, to us, that the only way you're going to know God is through Jesus, through that relationship with Jesus. Now, and he's, so he criticizes the Jewish leaders here about their adherence to the law, to the scriptures. Uh, but he makes a point throughout this that those won't get you to know God, truly know God. What they do is they point to him as Jesus, but it's that it's Jesus. Now, I've wrestled with this. Well, what does it mean to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ? What does it mean to know Jesus? And he's making it clear, too, it just can't be this head job. Uh, you know, we know Jesus in a theological sense or an intellectual sense or through apologetics or something like that. It has to be that personal relationship. It has to be we know him as a human person. And what is he doing as that human person? And as the Son of God, I'm not never denying that because he is the Son of God. And it adds to that. Um, and so here's how I've done this, and it's been a challenge for me. Is that you know? I always, when I go into these things, like, "Hey, Jesus, what are you trying to tell me today?" It's literally that question almost all the time. What are you trying to tell to me? And so, what this one is telling me is again, it's that deep, that personal relationship. You know, I, I look at Jesus, and I also look at me. You know, in my life, and how how you're too close, very seldom, or how they far apart, and then. My job, my spirituality, the spirituality, the religion is to merge the two. Not move Jesus, move me to Jesus, because I don't want to move, can't move Jesus down to my level. Gotta move me over. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. So it's that relationship with Jesus. It's seeing him as a person, not being involved with him as a person. Now the theology and all that, good. I read all the time. What the theology does is, at least for me, it opens my mind to new ways of thinking him as a person. It opens me to and challenges me to get past my own comfort zone, which I tend to do with all people. You know, I kind of put people in their own little box. And so you're you're a good friend as long as you stay in this box. And when you start exceeding that, it's like, uh -huh. okay. So this, it breaks, helps me to keep... Jesus free, right? Keeps Jesus free in my mind. And it goes on. I don't know if this is making sense, but this is what I'm I'm finding in this scripture reading. So hopefully you'll find something in it as well. Alright? So again, it is Thursday, so tomorrow's my day off. Uh, yay for me. Uh, so maybe I'll see you up at Mount Rose. For those who ski at Mount Rose, depends on this weather too, and if we can get up there. If not, I'll see you back here on uh, Monday, uh, the weekend. I'm at Snows again this weekend. Uh, keep Father Mike in your prayers. He was, uh, he's down with the flu, so I'm gonna be filling in on, for him on Sunday as well. Okay, take care, bye-bye.